Hello, Trent Tigers. I um, hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Happy Friday. It is the last day of Kindness Week. Um, I hope you guys have been finding all sorts of cool ways to show your kindness to your family, friends, and community. So I know that you guys have because you guys are incredibly kind kids. So today I am filming from my office. This is my home office. Many of you have seen my office at Tritt, but this is my home office for now until we go back to Tritt. So you can see on this side, this is my side. It's got a little lamp, little printer, little things. Okay, cute little saying. And then on the other side, I am sharing my office space with my 11-year-old daughter, Ella. From um, She is in sixth grade, so there's all her sixth grade books and things that she needs to do her schoolwork because um, she is having a lot of schoolwork. Um, so, awesome. Um, so this is my office for right now. Um, I much prefer my trip office, but that is okay. Um, here we go. Here is Ned the Neuron, okay? We know that you guys are taking good care of your brain cells. That is super duper important. Um, remember, we need water. What else do we need? Healthy food, exercise, a helmet, challenges, and sleep. I don't know about you, but with the new schedule, I get up a little bit later and I've been getting a lot of good sleep. So that is a silver lining. That is a perk. I am by nature a morning person. I love mornings, but it is kind of nice to wake up a little bit later. So I used to wake up about 530 and now I'm waking up about seven-ish before I walk my dogs. Um, so that's kind of nice. A little bit of extra sleep. Um, so we will be talking about this girl, Amy the Amygdala, after spring break. Because you know, next week is spring break. That means no digital learning days. The days are all for you and your family to enjoy, however you and your family are going to enjoy them. But Amy the Amygdala, hey warrior, um, will be joining us. And we're gonna talk about um, a lot about the brain and about worries and things like that when we come back. Um, so this is the Amygdala. Remember her and Ned, best friends. Um, so today, just to end Kindness Week, I'm going to read a book and then I'm going to announce the giveaway. So the book we're going to read is The Crayon Box That Talked. And spoiler alert, just to kind of front load you, the crayons are really grumpy at the beginning, saying very salty or mean things to each other. And then by the end, they learn that working together is actually pretty important. Okay, we can get a lot more done if we work together. So let's hear their story. It's a pretty short book, um, but it's one of my favorites. The Cram Box That Talked. Um, Shanda Roth wrote this, and let me see. Okay, so this was originally published in 1997. So this book is 23 years old. This is a book that um, when I was first a counselor 22 years ago, um, this was kind of a new book. I read it. Um, I thought it was really good, and I used it in a couple um, class lessons. But for Kindness Week, I'm thinking this really is um, a great kindness book as well. So, okay. I overheard a cram box. What? What? Miss Grindstaff made a mistake. I accidentally missed the first page. So let me go back. Say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and start again. Here we go. While walking in a toy store the day before today, I love toy stores, I overheard a cram box with many things to say. 
I don't like red, said yellow, and green said, nor do I. And no one here likes orange, but no one here knows why. Look at their faces. They're being very salty. When I say salty, I usually mean mean. Like salty. We are a box of crayons that doesn't get along, said Blue to all the others. Something here is wrong. Now I want you to look at the crayons' faces. We can kind of pick up how people are feeling just by looking at their faces and their body, okay? So if we look at their faces and their body, they do not look happy. Well, I bought that box of crayons and took it home with me and laid out all the colors so all the crayons could see. They watched me as I counted, or colored, I'm sorry. They watched me as I colored with red and blue and green and black and white and orange and every color in between. Okay, their faces are looking, some of them still a little grumpy, but if we look over here, hmm, there is a glimmer of happiness. They watched as green became the grass and blue became the sky. The yellow sun was shining bright on white clouds drifting by. Colors changing as they touched, becoming something new. They watched me as I colored. They watched till I was through. Now look at their faces. Look at their faces. They're looking much happier and they're working together. And when I finally finished, I began to walk away. And as I did, the crayon box had something more to say. Dog barking. Hold on. Okay. Can you shut that door, honey? I do like red, said yellow. And green said, so do I. And blue, you were terrific. So high up in the sky. So now they're saying kind things to each other. Ziggy. Now they're saying kind things to each other. <laughs> Ziggs, stop. We are a box of crayons, each one of us unique. But when we get together, the picture is complete. Look at that. So much better than we were at the beginning. Okay? So the kindness that I saw in there is they were all working together and they were all complimenting each other on their strengths. So the kind thing to do is if you see somebody who's doing something really well, take the time to say, oh my goodness, you do such a good job at that. Okay, be real, be real. Like we don't have to make up stuff. But if you see somebody doing a really great job or being exceptional, like exceptionally kind or exceptionally um, generous, point it out, okay? Use your words of affirmation and say, oh my goodness, that's really cool. That's really great, okay? So that is one way to show kindness is to recognize somebody's strengths and talents and let them know that you appreciate that. Um, so it's easy, it's easy, it costs you nothing. Kindness costs nothing, okay? It is free. And often when you are kind to others, then it comes back and others are kind to you. It works out amazingly. Um, so that was the crayon box that talked. Excellent, all right. Um, let me 
see. Okay, our last, the last winner I had, oop, can you grab me my phone because I do want to announce who Miss Edwards' um, giveaway winner was. So let me see, Miss Edwards always. Um, text me who her winner is. Okay. Her winner for her Play-Doh was Roman from Miss Gillespie's kindergarten class. Roman from Miss Gillespie's kindergarten class. Um, my Nerds and Elephant, um, that giveaway winner was CC. Okay. Um, CC um, and the new giveaway is this. So, in some of my free time, um, I have started taking watercolor classes. So I got all my watercolor stuff, um, and we started taking some beginner watercolor classes. Like I'm talking beginner, beginner watercolor classes. And so far, so good. I will say, I think Ella, my daughter, is a little bit better than I am. So I need to, I need to work on that. But she's been doing watercolors and sending them out to friends, which is kind of a fun idea, like on postcard size. Um, and so today's giveaway is going to be this, a little watercolor paper that I purchased at Michael's and a little watercolor kit. And then I have a little piece of one of my projects, some of my flowers that I just cut up into little note size cards. Um, and so this is going to go to our winner today. So Gracie, uh, my 16 year old, wanted to pick the winner for today. So she will do that. And then this will go in somebody's mailbox um, probably over the weekend so that you can have it for spring break. Ah, Ella wanted to. <laughs> Ella, you loving watercolors? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. So she's been making these little mini watercolors. They're tiny. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she's been making these little mini watercolor postcards that are super fun. But, um... Here is a fresh set of watercolors in this. Um, so this is, to do watercolors, it's really important. I learned in my beginner class to have um, watercolor paper. There's certain kinds of paper that are the best for watercolors. So this has watercolor paper in it as well. So as you guys head into spring break, Stay safe. If you're riding, you know it is the law until you are 16 that you must wear a helmet to protect our neurons. Excellent. I hope you guys learn a couple new, my hair. You guys know I have this thing with my hair. Um, I hope you guys learn a couple <laughs> new skills and work on your hobbies and your interests. This is just a really time for you guys to focus on um, you and your family. So I will see you when we come back from break. I think it'll be Miss Edwards' turn, but I will see you that week. I will see you that Tuesday when we come back from break with another story. Um, so some theme weeks that we have coming up is we're going to do, um, uh, like an anxiety, okay, where we talk about our amygdala and our brain. So we'll have like brain week, and then we are going to do like a STEAM star week where we're going to give you guys some really cool people, um, introduce you guys to some really cool people who have been doing fun STEAM stuff, um, amazing things. All right. Ella, do you have anything else you want to say? No. <laughs> 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 All right. All right. I'll talk to you. I'll see you guys later. All right. Have a good spring break, guys. Bye.